Now to Chapel Hill, which also has seen a lot of flooding today. Our Melissa Lefevre live there now with the very latest. And Melissa, what are you finding in Chapel Hill? We definitely did see some flooding in those typical trouble spots that we've been told about, the Eastgate area, as well as there in the Camelot Village. Talking about Bolin and Booker Creeks really coming out of their banks. And of course, the rain began to move out earlier this afternoon, but that was left in the wake of the flooding that we saw. And of course, we did deal with the accidents as well, the rain coming down, flooding parking lots, even some parks as well, grassy areas. And that was really the trend we were seeing, and people out and about. For the most part, people were avoiding the flooding areas, but my photographer Marks and I did see multiple people driving through some of those flooded areas, especially in the residential areas, and that's where we encourage you so much to turn around, don't drown. You don't want to walk through it, and you do not want to drive through it. Now, of course, Chapel Hill did see that flooding. The good news is the rain has moved out, and although roads are still wet, that's going to be the trend. It's going to take us some time to dry out from all of this significant rainfall we've seen over the past couple of days. But we do have that sunshine in the forecast. Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein has that coming up. From the Mobile News Tracker, I'm Meteorologist Melissa Lefebvre. Back to you.